Hello and welcome to the Proyaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 32, Mr. NPB. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. In the July 29 episode of the Japan Baseball Weekly Podcast, John had interviewed Jose Fernandez, who is returning to Japan for his 11th season. Now, before posting last week's show, I had a short conversation with John, who had done the interview, and he referred to Fernandez as Jose Fernandez of Nippon Professional Baseball. I kind of thought this was an apt title for him, as he's really been around for the last 11 years. Uh, if you look at his career here in Japan, he first played for Lotte in 2003, then Cebu, Rakuten, and Oryx, then he's gone around again and played for Cebu, Rakuten, and Oryx another stint each. So he's played for a total of four teams for a total of seven, you can call them stints. Now, of course, Japanese baseball is famous for its lack of people moving around. Now, this is kind of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you can emotionally invest yourself in players on a team without fear that they're going to be somewhere else next season. On the other hand, there are a lot of players who are very good, but they're stuck at Nigun behind some veteran who is very popular and unlikely to relinquish his spot at Ichigun. So these kind of players, if there was more movement... I believe we could see more stars emerge, but they are just being held back because of the lack of movement. So with that in mind, what I really wanted to know is, is the case of Fernandez playing for four teams really unusual? And are there any Japanese players who have played for at least four teams? Um, You know, basically what I want to know is, Who is Mr. NPB? Ah, Mr. Those of you who have followed Japanese baseball for a while will probably have come across somebody being referred to as simply Mr. That is Mr. Shigeo Nagashima, or Mr. Giants. Um, For him, just one word is all you need to describe him, and that is Mr. There's also a Mr. Tigers who actually refers to one of four people, the most recent being Masayuki Kakefu, the famous third baseman for the Tigers in their big uh, mid-1980s run. I started out my research on the Japanese Wikipedia page. Now, say what you want about the accuracy of Wikipedia, but I have found that the Japanese Wikipedia is especially when it comes to Japanese professional baseball, is not only very reliable, but often even more up-to-date than the official NPB site. Japanese fans have got Wikipedia covered. As expected, Fernandez was already listed there with Oryx as his seventh stint. The list of foreign players on this page has both retired and current players. Unfortunately, the Japanese players only show retired players on this page, meaning that researching Japanese players is going to take a bit more of an effort. So for this phase, I'm just sticking to the foreign players for the most part. Of the foreign players, Jose Fernandez stands out well beyond all the others with a grand total of seven stints. The next highest stint total is held by Brian Sikorsky, who has played for Lotte twice, the Giants, Yakult, and Cebu, where he just returned after a year abroad. Or is it domestic? Well, a year not in Japan. So that is five stints for Sikorsky, the next highest total. There are four other foreigners who have played for four teams here in Japan. They are in reverse chronological order. Jose Ortiz, who played from 2003 to 2013. Um, Unfortunately, he was dropped earlier this season, so not 
all of 2013. Uh, Jintin Haku, who played from 1963 to 1981. Nashida Toru, who played from 1952 to 1963. And everybody's favorite Russian, Victor Starfin, who played from 1936 to 1955. A short little side note. Um, I put together franchises as being the same team. Uh, that is, when teams merged or when teams were renamed or purchased by another company, I made those the same team. For example, when Kintetsu and Oryx merged after the 2004 season, becoming the Oryx Buffaloes, I counted anybody who was on Kintetsu up to 2004 and then went over to play for Oryx as having played for the same team. Now, if they played for Oryx and also Kintetsu during different stints um, before 2004, those counted as two teams played for. Okay, that's six foreigners who have played for four different teams. But you know, foreigners have a great deal more choice in the matter of where they're playing. That is, they're not drafted to a team, and they generally have two-year contracts at most when they first arrive in Japan. So they can move around much more easily than Japanese players. Now, Okay, I can tell you one Japanese player who has played for at least four teams. Ochi. Um, what is it? Hir Hiromitsu Ochi. Uh, he played for Lotte, Chunichi, the Giants, and then after the Giants got Kiyohara, uh, went over to play for Nippon Ham for the last couple seasons of his career. So Ochi, though, is kind of an unusual Japanese. Even Robert Whiting, in his 1989 bestseller, You Gotta Have Wa, referred to Ochi as the gaijin who spoke Japanese. So, you know, I can pull one name out of the air for somebody who played in for four teams. I wonder how many other Japanese have also played for four teams or more. Preliminary research, thanks a great deal to Gary Garland's D Baseball Data Warehouse, suggests that there are 134 players who have played for four teams or more. I also get 20 players having played for five teams or more. Now, so far, I'm still working on this, Osamu Goto had played from 1955 to 1963 for what appears to be six teams. Uh, the Toei Flyers, Dae Stars, Yomiuri Giants, Kintetsu Buffaloes, Nankai Hawks, and Nishitetsu Lions. I got real excited at first as Hisanori Karita looked like he had played for seven teams. However, when I applied my merging of uh, players who have played for the same franchise rule. It combined the Tokyo Senators with the Tsubasa and Tayo teams into a single team. And that dropped Karita down to having just played for five. As I said, my first run finds 134 players having played for four more teams. Now... There's another little caveat about the data warehouse, and that is it only goes up to the 2011 season. So there's still a great deal of work to be done, which unfortunately has to be done manually. So, for example, Norihiro Nakamura joined Yokohama in 2012. That became his fourth team. So now I have to go back and find everybody who has played for three teams, see if any of them changed teams in 2012, 
and add in more stints, basically, and teams. Also, there's the whole issue of merging franchises. So I've got a little bit more work to be done before I can declare uh, Mr. Osamu Goto as Mr. NPB. But I really don't think anybody is going to unseat him. And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. It appears that John and Jim take on Randy Messenger for this week's interview. After the interview, they talk about Makun's continued winning streak. And there are a couple of very compelling listener questions that they answer. I look forward to this week's podcast. I'm sure you do too. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaki Report. Thank you for joining me. Until next week, take care. <laughs>